everyone so first of all sorry if you can hear like a shower going my brother is taking a shower so I don't want to interrupt it uh, today I decided I want to do a video on should vegans support non-vegan brands this is inspired by Ben & Jerry's which <laughs> Ben & Jerry's coming out with vegan flavors and anything such as like a makeup brand coming out with a vegan line or like another food brand coming out with vegan options or vegan restaurants vegan grocery stores i mean a vegan restaurants coming out with vegan things or anything coming out with a vegan line but they still have cruelty in their brand should we support them this and i'd like to say <laughs> short answer yes long answer fucking hell yes and this is simply because if we are purchasing from non-vegan brands and we are, you know, giving them business and we are vegans giving this non-vegan, I mean, we are giving, we are vegans giving a vegan product business. They see how in demand this product is. They're like, hey, we should come out with more of this stuff. Or, um, wow, I guess this isn't something that we should discontinue because it's in high demand and a lot of vegans want it. We are giving them our business and why shouldn't we support the vegan things, the non-cruelty things that have gone into this product? We should support any vegan anything. Think about it. We shop in grocery stores that have meat all around it, but we buy our vegan products. We buy our produce. We buy anything that is vegan. So what's the difference? What's the difference in buying a vegan product that is specifically made for vegans, let's say makeup, like if they catered to vegans in that particular arena and they decided that it's going to be cruelty free, why are we not purchasing that, giving them our business to let them know, hey, we really like that this is vegan, we like that this is cruelty free, I will buy from you more if you keep it this way. Why not let them know, like, start a little light bulb in their head going, oh, wow, this is kind of a good thing. This is good for business. So with Ben & Jerry's coming out with flavors like that is amazing because we can give them our business, we can enjoy it, and they can be like, oh, wow, this is actually something that brings us business. This is actually a good thing. Let's put out more flavors. Let's keep this around. Let's not discontinue it. We should be giving them our business or else we won't be seeing more vegan stuff around. I think it's amazing that they even came out with vegan stuff. So why not support that? Why not give them our money and enjoy it? Basically what I'm saying is my opinion is that we should definitely, definitely be purchasing from non-vegan brands. We should not be like, no, I'm not going to do it because there's still cruelty in their line. We should be doing that because that is an amazing thing and we should give them our business to let them know that vegans are out there and we will give them our money if they decide to make it cruelty free. And this could make them be like, oh, so if we come out with more cruelty free things, we would have business, we wouldn't lose money. So I think if you're a vegan and you're deciding whether or not to purchase from Ben & Jerry's, I think you should do it. I think you should give them your vegan business and let them know that you're out there and let them know that you will continue buying from them if um, they continue doing stuff like this. So yes, um, longish story short, I think that all vegans should purchase from non-vegan brands that have vegan lines coming out. And I think it's an amazing thing and I think that we should just, just do it. Just indulge and let them know that you would give them your business. Thank you so much for watching. Put your opinion down below what you think. Do you think we should be purchasing from non-vegan brands? What do you think? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.